Well, today's video was supposed to be putting up temporary fencing and moving our rotational grazing plan to the temporary fencing, uh, as you see. <laughs> it did not go so smoothly though. Hope you enjoy. Good morning YouTube. We are actually going to be doing some temporary fencing today from the rotational grazing uh, that we've been doing. Our fields are going great, um, but hey, we've got an old deer field, or excuse me, a hunting field that I, I use for deer and turkey uh, down from the house. And I'm actually going to run a little fence to it, let them eat the rest of that grass there, and then work behind that, that paddock that's behind the garden today. So uh, that's on all right guys, we're fixing to get started on the temporary fencing. You see, this is their fencing now. This is that sixth paddock uh, over here by the, the uh, barn and over here by the garden. Um, now here, the reason we're using temporary fencing, as you know, this is a, a power line and a gas line uh, for energy um, and for your other utilities. So this is not really a place that I want to put post in. Now this grass is growing great and so we're going to use it as, as little paddocks. But before we use this grass, as it's keeping on growing, um, all this grass down here this is a basically where i, I have one of our, our um, hunting plots for deer um it's been a great plot for us my son killed his first deer here uh, we killed eight point about two years ago uh here a cousin of mine did so it's a good little plot but it's got just great great rye grass that is that is literally hip deep in some areas and knee deep in other areas and then it's got some behavior growing up in it too that's coming up for spring so before i let that grass just go to nothing I'm going to let the cows enjoy it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put up some temporary fencing. Now, now you see we have some T-posts. Just basic T-posts. We're going to get those in the ground. Uh, things you'll need. Uh, we have these little insulators right here that's going on this wood post. As you see, and that way it can conduct without hitting the wood post, but also can run back through another uh, to get to the poly wire or poly tape back to the uh, solar panel. Um, you see another conductor there. So I'll make like a little lane for them out of this gate. And into that new section now i probably will not even heat this section up just this little walk through because to be honest with you most of my cows are so docile they're fine to walk because they won't have that access to this walk once we get them in that place uh, over there now here's what you need you need a ground rod that will be is what that's what will go actually to your solar panel and, and will ground out your uh, your poly tape and your electrical current you need a solar generator or if you're using um you know something that is uh that's plug in or, or or a way that you have electricity down here i don't have electricity down here and plus this this uh, solar panel i'm gonna try it out this is a, a high octane version of one so i'm anxious to see how it works this is made by patriot um so i think it's gonna be a good one we picked it up at our local uh one of our local co-ops here in millen places so we've got some poly uh tape instead of the wire uh all my cows again they're docile they can pretty much go in this without any kind of fencing however i have the little bull over there y'all see uh sizzle uh, he gets a little crazy and if something tries to get after him he will go through whatever so this poly tape will let him see it also hopefully he'll run into it during the day where he feels the shock where he won't test it again we've got some new insulators because my old insulators were broke and dry rotted we've got some gate uh holders so, and maybe we'll go over that but it still conducts the the energy through you know the, the metal or the steel but basically allows it to be a little gate holder where you can open it and close it so that's what we'll close the little fencing area Again, some more little wood post holders, so we'll use those as well. So we're gonna get started. Another thing that you do need is these right here. Now you have to, you don't have to have these. You can use T post and use only T post. Uh, you could use a different version of this. This is fiberglass versus the plastic. They're supposed to have about a ten-year warranty, but it allows you to be able to move that fence a little bit quicker than using T post, and allows you to move the fence uh, safely, but also has a way to hook it in to make it really fast too. People like me that work and only have a few time. Uh, off during the afternoons it's so hard to move t-posts always so it allows us to have t-posts as the main run or t-posts as the main strength or these wood posts as the main strength but ultimately this is going around it so we'll get it set up let you look at it and then we'll kind of talk about it a little bit more. this grass is just like crazy deep uh way past my boots so i'm watching for snakes we actually just killed a copperhead if you're following us on facebook you, you saw the little copperhead that my wife actually killed but i want to show you how easy these little stakes are to go down versus t-posts Look at that, just with my foot, just pushing it straight down. All right, it's down, it's done. So you want it facing to where you have your poly tape that's gonna run through it this way. And it latches right on and we'll show you, we're gonna run just basically probably two strands or one strand uh, and then let them enjoy a piece of this grass 
and then we're just gonna move them back and move them back and move them back and move them back and then by then all these fields that are already doing so great they're gonna be like this so that's our goal and we'll show you what they look like now so you'll see if they if this if the cows stay here for a few days how is this going to heal the place that they were supposed to go today which is a paddock on the far side by the pond it's growing it's about um ankle deep so if we allow them to stay here for about four or five days and allow that to even heal even more it's going to be as tall as maybe my knee so it's doing really good so we'll show you some of that but we're going to go and get the rest of these set up and we'll show you how we run it all right guys so you see how easy it was it took me about 10 minutes to get these all in the ground this is the edge and you can't hardly see those you see them right through there so it's just gonna make a little small paddock i'm gonna make them eat this grass first then i'm gonna make two more little sections out of this over the next three days basically let them eat here a day eat there a day eat there a day so um i hate to just let this go to waste so this is the importance of of permaculture and homesteading is you know this rye grass was planted for a purpose of harvesting deer uh, or turkey um, but really more deer than anything so if we're able to kill a deer great if we're not then let's utilize it for other things so right now we have all this grass that's growing let's put our cows in it's beautiful grass <laughs> yeep, yeep. Yeep, yeep. come on Touch that. It's hot. It is hot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Daddy. She's all on that, and it's not letting her lighten her up. We might have to do something about that. Chasing my little bull calf through the woods, trying to get him back in this fence. He's being difficult, so we'll let you see the action. Yeah, you know those woods I was telling you about. Well, the bull calf is in there, so he, you see him barely walking through here. He's walking back out. Misty's coming back out of the woods. Fun stuff. And on to the front yard. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you in a little bit on how our morning's been going. So Colby attempted to put up a temporary, and just bear with me because I'm having to move while I do this. Colby put up a temporary fence this morning for our cow, something that we've been planning on working on. Well, apparently he did not have the charge hooked up, so apparently there's no electricity. Our two Anguses got out. Um, all of our cows will come back to feed except for um, the little bull Angus. Um, we've been chasing him all over these woods, all over our property. He's gone in the woods twice. We cannot get him out. So we're doing the best we can to try to get him run back to a pen. Um, a while ago, we, he walked right past two gates open and went around them, went right back into the woods. So we're doing the best we can to chase him down, to try to get him back in the pens. We're having a really, really hard time doing this. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera, camera around to you and let, let me see if I can see where he's at. It looks like we finally got him back in the pen. I don't know where Colby's at. Um, I saw Aiden a while ago. It looks like he finally ran in this one. We've been chasing him around all morning. It has been absolutely terrible. So, 
I ran in to grab my phone to bring y'all along while we were chasing him. It looks like they finally got him. It took us a, probably a good 30 minutes of just running. It's going to taste really good with every calorie that I just burned. And one more cow. I can't wait to eat it. Now. It is been. It's been awful. Um, so these three, like I said, y'all come back in real easy. I'm going to walk y'all around to where we have our temporary fence. But when we realized it wasn't up charged, when this here got out and he got out, we realized, oh gosh, this thing is not on. It's not working. Something's not right. So, but they come back in real easy. These three come around with food. He at Absolutely will not. You can look. We've got to figure out what the deal is um, with this down here. And as you can see, we had it hooked up right to where their gate was at. Strand all the way down into some nice tall grass down there, which is what we were hoping that they were going to feed on. And when we realized that it was not on, it was not working right or whatever, they were all the way down there at the bottom, the two Anguses were, and they had shot out down towards those woods. So we chased them literally from over here to the other side of our property. He went all through these woods, all the way down on the far side of our garden. If you can see the light poles way down there, he was way down there. We chased him to the complete opposite side of our house then back around and then that's when they finally got him in the fence so we're gonna see if we can figure out what's going on well i'm not sure i'm willing to try all four of them again at one time because that's what we did a while ago I might try just we the opened the gate and let all of them in at one time two stayed in and two escaped like i said beauty she's right, real good about following like the other one, she comes to food. We got her back in pretty easy. It only took about two or three minutes. But then, like I said, when we got down there with Sizzle and they both went out, we had two that we were trying to get up that follow food. The other two were running around. We got Beauty on back in and then we chased Sizzle the whole entire property. Even through the woods, Colby went through the woods. I wasn't Ooh, willing to go through it's the woods. It's working right now. Uh, well, don't, don't let, don't let Diddyo out. So we're gonna let just our we're gonna let just our jersey out. You can let him. I'm telling you. It. No, let's just. I ain't chasing two of them again. Well, you want to chase her. She's good. Ch chain it from the top. You don't want to go and put daddy on. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's 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 generating through here. Well, just go ahead and and just let her. We'll watch her because she's our easiest one. She comes to food. She. She's by far definitely our easiest one. So we're going, I say, let's test it with her if it does right. Um, then we'll be, I'll be more than happy to. Well, I got my hand on the gate. I'll be more than happy to test the other ones. But for now, um, I don't know. I, when I was over there chasing, uh, Sizzle this way. I looked over and this gate had flung open Man. with all three of our cows in here and I thought, oh my heavens, I gotta hurt. So I sprinted more than ever more from than over ever. there to come back and close this gate. I want a burger so bad. With Sizzle's name on it. <laughs> I don't care right now, I just want to eat one of her friends. Oh, well, as you can see, we do have our temporary fencing done, set and finished. Now, it didn't take no time to set it up, but as you have seen, uh, if, if your charger is not fully charged and it gives them just a little buzz it's not going to stop the little calves that are stubborn it did stop our bull did stop our jersey heifer but the two little calves uh, found ways out of it so what we did we tightened it up in some of those areas but more than that we've got our charger charging it was considered fully charged however i guess because it hadn't been set out in the sun it had just enough juice to give a little pop but not enough to make the the little uh calves understand that so we're juicing it up a little bit more. We put them back. We finally got the, the three back in there, which, you know, again, the, the bull and, and the heifer are easy. And even the little black Angus is easy. So we got her back in too. We got sizzle on the other side. So I'm glad that's done. Uh, but we're going to let it charge, sit for a little bit, and then we'll put them in it probably tomorrow. And then the next three to four days will be in the back back there. And then we'll put them back in there, permanent fencing. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, subscribe to us, like, share. Uh, it's always fun here. You know, we want to show you the goods and bad. So chasing a calf all day and finally getting it back in is just part of it. But the fencing does look pretty good. So, <laughs> so we're glad of it. 
And uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy homesteading, y'all.